Hello and welcome back to Juno New Origins. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Last time out, we were doing some rocketry. So in the last video, I created my first rocket, took it off, did some did some calculations actually. Before, before I did any of that, I did a whole bunch of calculations and then surprisingly on my first attempt, it met all of the targets that I wanted it to achieve. So that was great. Now, some of those calculations were estimates, things that I shall be refining uh, as I go forward. But overall, for that initial start, it all worked exactly as I wanted it to, which is great. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm thinking we've got this wet rocket now it says launch a new craft stock grounded reach 30 kilometers above ground level but somehow drop it into the ocean now since i'm not going to do or since i've been looking at this i do not think i'm going to do too much in the way of um i was going to say uh, rocket equations I'm going to do some approximations in, in this video and I'm not going to go over the equations. I will be doing that in a later video. Uh, but one of the things that I am considering and I have no idea whether this would work is could I fly an aircraft at a specific altitude then fire a rocket that is attached to said aircraft take it up to the higher altitude and then come back down. So there are a number of things that I'm going to have to take a look at. We're going to go to the tech tree, we're going to unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Then we shall have a look at this particular requirement or this particular contract and see if I can take it. Before I continue, just a reminder, if you do enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button um, just click on it, it is. it will make a big difference, it only takes a second of your time. And also if you could subscribe to the channel, which again only takes a second, and comment, which may take a little bit more than that, but of course the comments are things that I can read and I can look at and actually get some really good feedback from. So I would really, really appreciate it if you would be able to do so. With all that said and done, I think it's time to start today's video. Okay, so we are going to start in the tech menu and just going to take a look at what we require. Well, first of all, one of the first things we are definitely going to require is we're going to we're going to need a way to control our aircraft or spacecraft. Now, I do know that we have gyroscopes. So, in fact, before I do that, perhaps the gyroscopes are going to help us. But there are a few things that I would like to take. So, enable map view. This is going to be really important. So, I'm going to use 30 tech points to do that. Job done. Mechanical engineers perhaps important uh, I'm not sure if that block is it important five kilos that's a tiny block I may go for this one in a moment let's have a look what else we have staging that could be fairly important so I'll go ahead and do that now we are crashing this this vehicle so I'm not too fussed uh, that looks like a liquid fuel engine, so that is something we'd have to look at in a while. I'm still considering this one, because we have wings and stuff. Uh, hmm. Just realised. Could this electric motor allow me to create a a helicopter? Uh, that might do something. Anyway, static electricity, uh, the amount of volume, battery. Sure, I 
probably am going to need that. In fact, what am I doing? I have a map available now. Uh, how do I get to said map? Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, everybody loves explosions. Create, fire, create a firework spect spectacle by blowing something up with high enough kick, with enough kick at high altitude. You can find the explosive power of a fuel tank in the design. Okay, change of plans. I'm going to do that because I think in a single fuel tank, 3162. I'm going to do that. Uh, cruise atmosphere. Can you go to space to expose a probe? I could probably manage to do that too. Going sideways, crash at least 100 kilometers away from the village. I can do that too. Okay. We have a few things that we need to do. Change of a plan. Let's go ahead and build our rockets. In fact, I'm going to pull up a rocket that I made. I called it the accidental glider because after the after the last video, I made some adjustments, slight adjustments to the rocket. And I found this one glides for some bizarre reason. Uh, I doubt it will gl glide now, but this one should have that boom power, right? There we go. We can use this one for our first boom. So 9,330. We need to get to 10 kilometers. We should be okay to do that. So if I, if we go ahead and do this, we're going to make our first boom. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it goes. Remember, it needs more than 3,000. And it's AGL. Oh, what I could have done is... Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Just realised what I've done wrong here. Yep, I did something very, very wrong. Um, that was a, a mistake. You see, what I should have done is adjusted this and allowed this only now can I can I get this to tank set staging uh, all tanks in set how do I get this to use for example so what I want to do is I want to... Yes, if I stick an interstage in, though the interstage is going to do absolutely nothing. There we go. So this one has... apparently no explosive power. Why are you... empty? What is wrong with you? Why do you have zero grams of fuel? What? Why is that a thing? Well, that... That was bizarre. Fuel tank. Why do you have zero... Well, that isn't going to help. That isn't going to help anybody. I don't understand. Fuel type, none. Well, yes, I know the fuel type is none. But that isn't... what I want. Oh, to select fuel, here we go. That will do. Right, fixed it. So, explosive power, 2932. Now, let's have 4088. This is going to be interesting because this, this rocket is now a lot bigger than, than initially intended. 
But it should still do the trick. It should still do the trick. So, if I go ahead and... Oh, wait a minute. 652. No, this should, this could do. I'm not going to bother with with any um any of the mess of painting or anything like that. Right. Now, the only concern I have is that is going to be quite heavy. However, you'll notice that it still has all of its boom power. Estimated drag force. Wait a minute. 300 newtons. Okay, we have a problem. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to glide now. If you decide to glide... No, it isn't. Okay. Uh... Maybe I should be doing some of the mathematics behind it. Let, let's do the no mathematic way. No maths way. Uh, let's see. Dump that. No, let's not dump that. Let's do this. And we want... What was this again? What does the contract say exactly? 3162. Let's bring this to it right the way down so it is. There we go. 3180. That shall do. Okay. Let's try that. Do you know what? I am going to paint it. Just because this might be one of the only things we end up launching, and I want it to look okay. Let's go ahead and launch that. I have no idea why I've left the um, the winglets on it. Because if anything, that is going to cause us some more issues. Uh, F10. Look at that. You see, all the winglets are doing is it's just making it go up. Which is, or make it go sideways. Brain function, please. Goodbye, winglets. Now it should just launch, theoretically, straight up. Now I do think any slight amount is going to tip it, though, but still, could be worse. Now the mass of this is going to cause some some issues, but we are looking for 10 kilometers. If we get to four on throttle, now we are, we are not going to make the 10. We shall make eight, maybe, no? Oh, it's, there is potential here. There is potential. No, there is potential for 10. Yes. We, we we can make 10. So all I need to do is select this, wait for the 10, and do an explosion. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is getting close. There it is. Kaboom. Fireworks. Got. Job done. Right. Career. Let's see what else we have. Um... Going high is out and about. Village race. Oh, this thing again. Uh, launch new craft, go through. Now I could just do this very quickly. Go through all the checkpoints in under four minutes. I can do that, right? So, and you go through it in any order. So here's what I'm going to do. I shall go to the build. I'll accept that. I'll go to the build. I'll load in the car. Let's check our values. Uh, 
that is fine. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm, I'm going to up this. And I'm actually going to up the... The torque on these. There we go. Just for a little bit of speed. Right. We shall start up here and go ahead and do what we need to do. This shouldn't be a problem. So, I need to do this fairly accurately, though. Yep, need to be careful of that. So, first thing I want to do is let's go to the... Let's go over to the... Um, oh, 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 oh. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No issues. Apparently, command disc is taking damage, but we are we are absolutely fine. Now, giving the extra th uh, steering on the back it makes this so much easier. Oh, hey, so we've done two and thirty-eight seconds. Okay, a little bit harder to control than before. A little bit more unstable, but that's okay. Right, so I have two options here. Now, the option I'm going to choose is to go down the ramp. I could have just gone onto the grass, but I'm going to go down the ramp fairly gently. And then... I'm going to... Come on, we've got to speed up a little now. I know where I want to go. I'm going to run around this side. Come on, we're one and a half minutes in. Oh, slow down, slow down. Make it through. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, make it through this gap. There we go. Come back around. We're two minutes in. Almost. Come on. 1.9. And we're going to come back this way. Straight through that gap again. It's fine. We can bounce off that. We can bounce there. Not a problem. And up to the top corner. 2.9. There we go. Job done. End flight. So we'll just get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more money and tech points for that. Let's see what else we have available to us. We have Juno Peak, but I want to try this going sideways. Ooh, go higher than eleven. I can do that. Let's go. Let's go. Explode some rockets. Load craft, accidental glider, once again. I'll do that. Um, create a tiny interstage. Absolutely tiny. Explosive one on this is supposed to be... What did it say? Three... Three something. It is 3317. That will do. 969. Uh, can I can I get that to a... There we go. That is going to tip over. That is really going to tip over. Also, I need to do a very quick calculation here. Uh, with the initial thrust... Now I'm concerned. Our thrust is 1.74 kilonewtons. Now I have six of these, right? So, oh, that one's a little bit different. Okay, so I have six of these. So 1.74 kilonewtons multiplied by six plus the uh, 3.48. And that's going to give me... 
about 14, 14 kilonewtons, so 14,000 newtons, 13,920 actually. Um, 625 multiplied by 9.81. So we've got a thrust ratio of 2 to 1, which it says there, 2.27 to 1. Which is going to give me... Oh, it's going to be a fairly slow acceleration. Do you know what? Let's just try it. Let's try it. Oh, wait. Get rid of those. Try that. See what happens. Just realised that the thrust ratio was written there. Let's go. Go, 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 go. This is what you get when, when you've just bolted something on and forgotten to forgotten to paint everything the, the same colour. It's sort of like the, the, the prototyping. We need, we, need a, we need a higher speed. We need more speed. More speed. More speed. More speed. More speed. Okay, that should be enough speed. And we, we want the 11. Kaboom. Job done. Okay, next one. Do we have Fireworks 3? Oh, we have Village Race 4. I don't really want to... I don't really want to do these, but they're getting in the way. There's Juno Peak as well. Remember to bring a camera with you. Get to the top of the peak. We could probably do that in the car. Let's get that one out the way too. So I think this is this has gone from this this has gone from uh I'm going to actually up the talk on all of these. Yep, this has this has gone from where I was going to do things and um, I was going to do some some more mathematical things though off the top of my head it has changed from that to just trying to get a, a bunch of stuff done uh, field of view, here we go this is quite cool variable zoom zoomed out field of view a hundred? Can I can I do a hundred? No, apparently not. Zoomed in field of view. Fifty. Let, let's try. Let's try that. Uh, zoom input slider one. Sure. Uh, I have no idea. I've, I've never used a camera before, so I guess if I just stick that into the ground or stick that into the sh into the shell. Maybe this will do? I'll start from the runway because I have no idea where, it's, where this is going to send us. So, might, might as well start from the runway, right. Where's the peak? Oh! Now oh, that shouldn't be difficult. Give me a camera. Also add a slider 1. Oh, lovely. Okay, here we go. Can we just go straight up this? Nope, apparently not. What have I done? Well, rubbish. No, let, let's just keep driving. Let's try and flip ourselves back over. Come on. Something's got to flip us over. Nope, nope, we are stuck. We'll we'll retry that. Maybe we shouldn't use the camera. Because this vehicle is not designed to go up a mountain, that's for sure. 
You can see it struggles off a little bit of a hill. Look at that. It, it, it literally struggles there. So what... How much... How much is it going to struggle trying to do that, for example? Now, there probably is a way for me to get it going up. There we go. Now that it's gripped... Oh, it does not have the... The grip to make it up, though. Wait, yes, it does. Sort of. Okay, I have an idea. Let's go to a slightly flatter part of the hill. Oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Job done. Now, the next bit is going to be a little worse, although I guess I could try and push it up here. Yes, if I try to push it up here, this, this should be much better. Round we go. Up the top. Oh, do not flip. Do not stay flipped. Oh. Oh, do that again. It is not designed for this. It is not designed for this at all. Um... Tell you what, let's try going up this way then. Maybe this will work. Take a, a bit of an S. There we go. This is better. This is much better. 14 meters per second. Constantly climbing. Watch that. Slow down a little up the top of this there we go I see where I need to be perfect well I say perfect we are still 280 odd meters away a couple of hundred yards to go You can do it. There we go. And you're up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get to the top. That's it. And stop. Okay. You've completed tier one of Drew Highest Climb by exceeding three kilometers. The tallest point is 7426. Right. Well, that could be interesting. That's a view. It isn't... I thought it was going to send us up there somewhere. I'll be honest. End flight. Uh, no, 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 no. Recover. I do not want to redo. And we have plenty more tech points. Now what do we have? Short route. Oh, that isn't going to work very well. Okay, let's try the whole going sideways one to, to end this video. Now, this, this may not work the way I want it to, so we shall have to see. But I think if I load my accidental glider, bring that up to four meters, this should fly. This should fly. Uh, I also want to just... Can I scale this part? Is there a way for me to just scale it? Because I want to keep the exact same... Shape of the wing. No. Okay, there, there is something... That may be good uh, good to, good to be able to have yes uh, scaling that that would be really good let's just press s oh no oh oh dear s does that i do not want to do that uh, right i guess i'm just going to have to try to make this 
fly in the best way, best manner possible. So, that there, that there, bring that somewhere close to the middle. That might, that might do what I wanted to do. Let's try it. So the, the important thing here is we do not end up in space. Now th this thing does not have enough Delta V to get us to space. I'm fairly sure of that. What I need is for it to tip and just keep going. And it's doing the tip. There we go. Turn around and just keep flying. Still do not know what that is. Okay, we have an interesting trajectory. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Tip around, that's good, that's good. No, do not keep tipping around. Oh, something's something has gone horribly wrong here. Center of center of gravity is too far back. Well, that isn't what I wanted it to do it at all. Uh, think, 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 think. So, if I do that, okay, that. I'm just doing some experimentation here. I think I know what I wanted to do. Now, I'm fairly sure I could get this 100 kilometers away, just just in this form. So tip around. That's it. Now I need you to continue in that sort of trajectory. That's good. So just bringing that back. So so that was too far forward. That was what the problem was. There we go. And that is what I wanted it to do. And it should, it should just keep flying. Yes, this this should keep flying for a while. Ocean. Is that ocean? Because if that is, that is really good. Oh, no, 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 no. No, do not lift up. Lift the nose. Lift the nose. Oh, those wings need to be further back. But how far back can I put those wings? They're too small. That's what it is. Oh, we got 50. I've also found the ocean. So that, that, that is promising. Uh, new plan. New plan, new plan. If I do that, all I need is this thing to... It doesn't need to go at a, at a really high speed. It just needs to be able to glide. Now, I know the initial one was an accidental glider. I don't think it glides. I think that was a fluke. How is this going to have an impact on the on the gliding performance of this? That is the ocean. So I know I need to head in that direction to land in the ocean. Right. So if this reaches 50 as well, I've done it for much cheaper. Uh, exceeding 100 kilometers in the atmosphere. What do I really need this to do? Okay, aerodynamics are grabbing hold. That is important. I think it's too low. I think, sorry, uh, too high. Aerodynamics are trying to do something. I can see it wobble the wing. And if you look at that, 
we almost reached the same place as, as the previous attempt. For much less. The nose is not pointing quite as down. In fact, I think the nose is lifting. The nose is lifting. Okay. Okay. It, it is working. So, I'm just going to push these right the way back. Oh, this could be bad. This could be really bad. Um, push them all the way back and, and angle them slightly back over. See if that does anything. Apparently that. Uh, what's happened? Was it just balancing on? Oh, whoops. There we go. It was just slightly, slightly too much for it. I was going to say, what's happened there? Um, so this is not an accidental glider. The idea here is I'm, I'm doing an intentional glider. And I sort of want to end the video with, with this doing what I wanted to do. But... I doubt that is going to work. See, the problem is, is I think it, it is gaining. Whilst the altitude gained is great for for actually getting away from the village, because that gives us more time to glide. Because it is too this high up, there's not enough air. And if there isn't enough air, what is it going to do? Come on, stabilise yourself. That isn't working. Now it's doing the really annoying ballistic missile thing. It, it might stabilise. But I think as soon as it starts doing this, it, it, it is over. I mean, I think we are still going to get the... 50-ish kilometers but um, this isn't this isn't very good actually we're going to get more than 50 kilometers this time now we're also turning out to to that area it's still doing okay <sighs> apparently this this is not how aerodynamics works by the way i have no idea how this is this is happening but this is not how aerodynamics works i am actually thinking this this could be what i call an accidental glider because this is gliding in in, in a form that it shouldn't it should not be gliding in this way it is slowing down but we are 30 kilometers away from what we need to do. And now it's speeding up. It is gliding. How? I do not know. I've created perpetual motion. Yep, we are now speeding up. This could go on forever. It shall give me a, a good look. This is not water. This is like grassland. Okay. Well, we, we are now descending, so there is that. This isn't perpetual motion. It, it, it has now stabilised. Definitely stabilised. And now it's losing its stability. No. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. You've lost it at... You've lost it at 95 kilometres. 94 kilometres. And I bet you... If I run that again, I'm going to do that. I was going to say if I ran it again at the same, in the exact same configuration, it may, it may actually get the 100. The other plan is to get it to 
accelerate slower because as it tips its nose down then we want the horizontal acceleration or statute so instead of being lateral we need it to be tangential to the earth's surface as opposed to perpendicular to it let's see how this one does with the with the wings slightly higher up now i was completely expecting this to that i was completely expecting the previous one to not work as soon as it started doing the weird the weird stuff and this one is doing the same which is not good and this is going to tip down whereas personally i would think this would lift the nose up that that does not make any sense i just i do not know well let let's try this in fact let's try com something completely different let's try this there we go Look at that wing. Now, if that isn't going to fail spectacularly, I do not know what will. Where are you going? You're going straight up because I ended up accidentally putting the wings perfectly straight. That was a mistake. Go back. Do it again. Let's try that one again. The 285 for some reason seemed to work. No idea why. There we go. Tip. Keep going. Let's see. Let's see what this one does. So if I click on these, these would tell me what, what drag these things are picking up. So a couple of kilonewtons of drag there. Uh, a few newtons. That's dropping off. Some drag. Angle of attack. Lift force. Okay. And we are some distance away. Oh no, here we go again. This is not a thing that should be happening. And unfortunately, I, I cannot warp speed. We, we just have to sort of go through this. If I can somehow reach maybe 400 meters per second with this as I descend. No, we're slowing down again. I was going to say, if I could somehow reach 400 meters per second, this thing will, will do the distance I want it to do. But we are now climbing. Okay, this is doing, this is doing uh, what we call a phygoid motion. Forget the whatever the the twisting of this is because that is not something that should be happening but essentially what a phygoid motion is is that you let's say you set an engine or in this case something at a specific speed you have then set the wings in a specific configuration or you know that it's uh, you you have no control of the ailerons or whatever so what, what will happen is the aircraft will slow down. You have no engines. The aircraft slows down, it pitches nose down. As it pitches nose down, your altitude decreases. However, your speed will increase because gravity is pulling, pulling it down and therefore your speed will increase. As the speed increases, because your wings are, because the lift on a wing is equal to half rho v squared SCL, the 
increase in the wings or the increase of V squared will increase the lift you have, which will pitch the nose of the aircraft up, which is not happening in this case. Why are you not lifting nose up? What if I added a gyroscope to this? Brain, let's do something. Let's add a gyroscope. Can I add a gyroscope? I don't know. Do I have a gyroscope? I also don't know. No, we cannot. What we can do is add a control surface. Oh, okay. Let's let's unlock some control surfaces. I really want to do this before before we end this video. This isn't working the way I want it to work in in the slightest. There we go. Now this this is not working in the slightest in the way I wanted it to, and certainly it's not responding the way I want it to. There's a control surface. Does not need to be a large control surface. Uh, that shall do. And the control surface should be able to give me pitch control. That works for me. Perfect. Oh, I can put this on a control, can't I? Input, auto. Input on pitch, please. Let's see if this works. Add pitch. So first off, I'll let it do whatever it needs to do. Let it do its own, do its own thing. In fact, one of the things I do need to check is which way the pitch is going to go. So, I could actually start pitching this down already. Ooh. Well, that didn't work. I'll let it do whatever it needs to do. There we go. Pitch down. Pitch down. No. Stop. Stop. Pitch down. There we go. Okay. Now, I just leave it to stabilise itself. Let it do what it needs to do. And then as soon as it's stabilised, which could be, I have no idea when, I may be able to use the pitch to give it the extra... Because we've got a speed, I can give it the pitch to try and lift the, the craft which is what I'm trying to do now, actually. Nope. This has not worked in the slightest. Yes, it has. There it goes. But now it's turned back. Why have you turned back? And why, why are you doing what, what you are doing? That's my other concern. This is very, very confusing. However, I, I do have some flight control over this. Terrible flight control, but some. So if I, if I set this to be nothing to start with, let it go for however long it needs to go for, and then do what I need to do. So yes, as I was explaining, the uh, phygoid motions. So, as your speed increases, though you're facing downwards, your speed increases, but at the same time, because of half row V squared SCL, your velocity, uh, because lift is equal to the square of the velocity, or not equal, but proportional to the square of the velocity, your lift will increase. As soon as your lift exceeds your weight, 
you will find that the the aircraft will start lifting again. And as it starts lifting, it will go nose up. As it goes nose up, it will lose its momentum. So therefore it will lose its speed and because gravity is again trying to pull it down, so it loses its speed. And as it loses its speed, it loses its lift. So the nose comes back down and then you end up in this wave, uh, wave sort of motion. And that is one of the key features of aircraft flying. Okay, so I need you to stabilize yourself, please. Once it stabilizes, as I said, with the pitch, I can pull that up to just lift this up, to just get it coasting the last few miles or kilometers, clicks, meters, yards, whatever you want to use, feet, inches, furlongs, don't use furlongs. But more importantly than anything, I need this to stabilize, otherwise I cannot do it. And this time we're headed in, in a completely different direction. Previously we were headed out that way. Now we're heading along along the mountain range. Where is the water? That is my big question. I see no water. So I thought that was water, but it appears to be not. Okay, this is gliding a lot further than I thought it would glide. Why have you done this now? Oh, wait. We've got enough air to stabilise here. Come on. There we go. Stabilise. Stabilise. Nose up. No, do not turn back. That's it. It's going to plough into the exact same mountain, isn't it? Now wait. There we go. This is not great, but... We are just about flying. We're not going to reach a 95. Or we will reach 95, we will not reach 100. Okay. Make this really simple. Because I just can. High speed, long distance. Uh, we are going to absolutely floor it. Well, actually, no, because if we do that, if I were to drop that middle, this isn't really going to help. But perhaps we can coast for... No, you know what? Perhaps we can coast for an additional period of time with this. I am going to get this done, despite the fact that I'm not doing it properly. Because it is annoying. Shut down already, please. Pitch your nose down already. Okay, at this point we're just going to go to space, shall we? We're going to reach nearly one kilometre a second here. Uh, we didn't quite reach a one kilometre a second, but we are uh, higher up than... I think we are a little bit higher up than before. Yes, we, we are definitely higher up than before. In fact, we now have an air density of five grams per metre cubed. At this point, there's barely any air for us to do anything with. So we are we are reliant on yeah we are we are just reliant on 
being able to glide. Okay. We managed to get to two grams per kilometer, uh, sorry, per meter cubed. Which is pretty poor. Now we are 30, 33 statute kilometers away. So that is in a straight line across the earth as opposed to the diagonal which includes our velocity, uh, sorry, our velocity, our altitude. So it's just Pythagoras there. I do not see this one working. I just do not see this one working. Nose up, nose up, come on. Nose up, there we go. Give me a bit of... Give me something to work with, please. There you go. Look at that, you can fly. See? I knew it could fly. It's just, it's appalling at doing it, but it can do it. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to end this video here uh, with, with failed gliding attempts. Um, I'll do some, I won't do some calculations, yeah, I'll probably do some calculations. And, and see from there what, what we can do. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Um, oh, could I? Could I do what I think? No. No, that isn't going to work. Uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on... Um, on Juno New Origins. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. I'm giving it another go. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ecgadgets. Your support would be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetslp for both Twitter and Instagram. Lastly, you can find me on Discord. There is a link in the description box for that as well if you wish to join my Discord server. That is all from me. If I pitch this nose down already, as much as I can. That was perhaps the best I could do to just get the nose down. Although the trajectory is not going to... Well, it might just change. Might, might just change. So I'm not sure. Not sure at all. What I need to do is I need to land there. Somewhere there is where I need to be landing. Right now I'm landing at most here. So that is no good. But uh, yes, that is all from me. I know how to do this, I think. I've just realised what I could change. What is that? Something out there. Um, 400. Yeah, we, we are, we're in a... Fl we're in free fall here with a with no real control. Yeah, we, we have no control. Yep, that is not, that is far from, far from ideal. But uh, that is, hang on a minute. Why is our vertical velocity? What has just happened? Uh, I have no idea. Let's give this a let's give this a an end. And once once this ends, then then we shall then I shall end the video. I've done my outro, so all I need to do is wait for this thing to to inevitably plough into a mountain about four kilometres short of where it needs to be. See, if I went towards that flatter area, we wouldn't have to worry about mountains. 
my vertical acceleration is decreasing. Have I accidentally done it? 20 kilometers to, to go. Now, oh, vertical acceleration is increasing again. 18 to go. And now we're going to the inevitable pitch down into the into the ground. Although I can just try and lift it just slightly. There we go. Lift it again. No, 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 no. Lift again. We're now at 90. Come on, lift again. Use the speed. We're at 92. 93. I think we're about to hit the exact same mountain we did last time. Try and lift it nose up. There we go. There we go. Hold on. 96. We are we are now pitching up for all we're worth. We need to get two and a half kilometers. 98. There we go. This will do. This will do quite spectacularly. Um, that looks terrible. Utterly, utterly terrible. But there we go. Please tell me it doesn't hit a mountain before we hit the end. There's the hundred. And we're done. That is all from me. And I'll see you next time in Juno, New Origins.